All right, what's up, guys? You guys been here on the uh, Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel, the Ice Band D2013 channel. It's a late night video. Well, not really late night, but on the East Coast, it's like about 9 30, 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, there's a lot of rumors going around that Dave Batista um, probably will come back maybe for one more match. Um, his desire is to face Triple H at WrestleMania 31 this coming year in a retirement match. Whether this happens or not remains to be seen. Um, Batista, as we all know, when he did come back, he basically was promised um, you know, to get the WWE title. Uh, he didn't get it. And I, I, you know, a lot of it had to do with the popularity of Dana Bryan. And then Batista coming back, I mean, the fans booed him more than cheered him. So that really, really was a big reflection on, you know, what the WWE decided to do. So, and then, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the movie is flying off the handle for Batista. So that that's great news for him. But, uh, yeah, so that's some... Um, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, there, there's just been a lot of strange things going on in wrestling. The AJ Lee and Page, you know, the uh, the situation that's going on there. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sh really sure where that's leading up to. And, you know, personally... You know, it's getting to the point where it's sort of like, you know, you know, it was like the Summer Ray and Layla thing where you saw them come out and you saw them like uh, kiss real quickly and you were wondering what was going on with that situation. And then all of a sudden it dropped. I mean, you don't even see them anymore. You know, it's like Fandango. Um, you, you rarely see him. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Wrestling today, really, I mean, after all the years I've watched it, I, and honestly, this truly is one of the lowest points when it comes to, you know, major promotions. And, you know, you got to include TNA as a major promotion just for some of the fact of what the Jarrett's did. And, uh, but I'll tell you, I watched against all odds today. And uh, there was a 30-minute Iron Man match with AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. And they were tied on a pinfall. And the bell went off. You know, so it was going to end in the tie. Dusty Rhodes decided, you know, let's go to sudden death. AJ won it. But, I mean, phenomenal wrestling. I mean, this is this is an against all odds pay per view by TNA in 2005. Phenomenal, really phenomenal wrestling. And uh, also, the main event was Kevin Nash against the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Jeff Jarrett. There were stipulations there that Jarrett couldn't use his guitar, but you know, there they, they you know you had the little things with. Uh, you know, it wasn't a guitar, but it was another musical instrument. But it was a, the pay-per-view was great. I mean, and, you know, I look at a lot of the things that a lot of people may not notice. But I look at um, the crowd. I look at the lighting. I look at um, the stage. Um, and all this kind of stuff. And back when Jarrett owned it. Man, it was great. It was really, really great. And you know, a lot of people were, you know, are saying, well, you know, Jared owned the company, but he, you know, he held he held the title uh, quite a bit. But you know something? That's what you do when you own a company to try to draw attention to that company. And uh, this was. A phenomenal pay-per-view as was the final resolution I'm on the 2005 TNA world tour kick so to speak I've already got through January and February and I'm gonna move on to destination X 
which is the next pay-per-view. Maybe I'll watch it tomorrow. I'm not really sure. If not tomorrow, it'll probably be Labor Day. But uh, this was great stuff in 2005. You know, and you know, and I have no bones about saying this. If TNA competed against the WWE now, with what they're doing in 2005, look out, Vince. You might have some problems. But uh, you know, it isn't. You know the way it is, and it didn't happen. So you know, speculation is just um, a foresight on a lot of people and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so uh, a Saturday night video. You know, I'm missing a lot of people here on uh, YouTube. Um, you know, I haven't seen videos from a number of guys, but uh, I, you know. I do want to say this, and maybe maybe I shouldn't say this, but my buddy Josh, Inside Wrestling Truth, I'm not going to elaborate on the situation, man, but hold your own. Keep focused, buddy, because that's what, you know, you need to do. And you know if, you know, if you need somebody to talk to, man, you know, I'm just, you know, just type it, you know, and if you want my number or whatever, no problem. Um, life can be hard sometimes, and as we all know it, you know, life is, you know, very difficult at times. But uh, getting back to professional wrestling, this is 2014. WWE is in dire straits. TNA is like limping on their last leg ring of honor does great but they don't get recognized and um so i'm looking forward to the fact that jeff jarrett with what he did with tna and guys again watch the early stuff from tna phenomenal at least start watching 2005 because i'm into I'm going into the third month of a pay-per-view. Oh, this this stuff is great. It's really great. And that's why I think um, with Jeff Jarrett, I mean, I don't know what his financial situation is going to be with Global Force Wrestling, but um, maybe it's going to be a little bit lower to start off. But maybe if things fly, you know, things will really go to new heights um before i close out this video oh man 2005 man tna wrestling against all odds canadians own pd williams if you guys haven't watched this guy wrestle man you missed out on a lot of stuff this guy was phenomenal um it's sort of sad that we don't see him now, but you know, this got you know this was nine years ago, and this guy was in very good shape nine years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, wrestling, TNA wrestling, man. Go to 2005, check it out. I mean, for me, it's. It's an enjoyment to watch. I mean, it's things that I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to expect. You know, when I tune into Raw or SmackDown or Main Event, it's the same stuff. So that's that's my only issue with that stuff. But uh, anyway, Saturday night, peace out, everybody. The Iceman, B2013. Have yourself a great night.